Hi, I'm Jordan Lloyd, and thanks for joining me today to watch me colorize this photograph taken in 1945. It's taken at a pub called the Wagon and Horses in Great Yeldum in Essex, which is just east of London. As I'm restoring this picture, you can see at the bottom there's a serial number which I need to eliminate. It's actually taken out this guy's foot, so I need to reconstruct the shoe from the other chap next to him. The original photograph caption reads, a GI of the 381st Bomb Group who made a bet that VE Day would not occur before the 1st of July 1945 pays off his wager. A group of interested Britishers look on. Great Yeldon was located just a few miles away from RAF Ridgewell, where the 381st Bomb Group of the United States Army Air Force was stationed during World War II. As an aside, make sure you set up your camera properly. I set up the tripod here, but the camera eventually fell off. Here, I'm scouring through lots of colour footage from 1945, showing what people wore in that period. The vast majority of the work that you see me doing is blocking in all the colour. Doesn't really matter what colour I block it in, in fact the more garish the better so it doesn't mean I miss any details. And then what I do is I take all the research that I've done which I've organised into Pinterest before aligning the colour with the sample straight off the photograph. Doing the colour research is quite difficult especially when you're stuck inside but thankfully I have a lot of resources on the internet to rely on. I couldn't find the exact sign for the wagon and horses, I suspect it's long been destroyed, but I did find some other signs painted around the same time. In the UK, a lot of pubs were owned by breweries. This one called Fremlins was based in Kent and they produced three different kinds of beer. Using Google Maps, I managed to find an almost exact view of where the photograph was taken. A lot of the trees look quite similar, but the house opposite is now painted pink. 2020 marks 75 years since the official end of World War II. The 381st Bomb Group flew B-17 Flying Fortresses between June 1943 and April 1945. Over 12,000 of these iconic American bombers were produced by three companies in the United States, four being shipped to England. The 381st Bombardment Group was awarded two distinguished unit citations during the war. The first was in 1943 for successfully bombing Nazi shipyards at Bremen. The second, awarded in early 1944, was for destroying aircraft factories at Oscherschleben without a fighter escort. And here's the final piece. I really enjoyed doing this photograph because it really shows something quite extraordinary and something that we normally take for granted. I hope you enjoyed this audio commentary and I'll see you next time.